Hey, hey, welcome back to the Suffer City Training Center. My name is Jason here at Suffer City. Today we're gonna help you improve your kipping pull-up as well as your windmill pull-up. Now, if you're not even able to do a pull-up, this is still a fantastic drill to learn the technique and the body pattern involved in your pull-up so that when you're ready, you've got the technique down. Now, I want to ensure that you do understand the prerequisite for doing a lot of the stuff I'm about to show you in terms of the kipping and the windmill pull-up is that you're able to complete at least one full range of motion dead hang pull-up. That's gonna give you the proper upper body pulling style, right. technically involved style of pull-up such as your kipping or your windmill. So let's get into this drill here. The first one is gonna involve kipping. Now this is a four part drill. When we begin this drill at the very top of your pull-up as though you've just finished a pull-up. Now what we oftentimes forget about in our kipping pull-up is this push away effect. And that is step one. Step one, I'm gonna push away. Step two, I'm gonna move myself all the way into this arch position. All right, from the arch position, we're gonna rock back into our hollow body position. And then from here, we're gonna take a look up at the bar and then accelerate our hips towards that bar to really bring that good, strong kipping motion into effect. Once again, step one, push away from the bar. Step two, we just flow into the arch. Step three, we come back into our hollow body Looking at that bar, we throw our hips up at that bar. A common mistake we'll oftentimes have is we won't push away with enough force on this drill, and it's very difficult for a lot of us to kind of relax the spine into this arch position. Notice my arms are back, my shoulders are forward, my head's forward, with my hands up and back hanging from the bar. And then from this position, we take a good pause at our hollow body, looking up at the bar, and another common error we'll see is people will kind of pull themselves holding this arch position. But what you want to do from this hollow body is accelerate those hips forward and allow that momentum to pull your whole body up to the finishing position of your kipping pull up. And so real time again, it looks like this. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Those are your four steps to help you with the kipping pull up. Now let's take a look at the windmill action here. Slightly less steps involved, but it's still a bit of a challenging yet effective drill. I'm gonna again start at the end of my pull up, and instead of pushing away now, all we do is fall through to our arch. Whoop. Falling here through the arch. Once we get to the arch, we come back to the hollow, and then we accelerate again, and then move ourselves through the arch. And you'll notice quickly, as you start to get comfortable or familiar with this movement, is it's almost a single cycle movement or a single step movement where you're just flowing through that position. Now I've got this box here, it's a great stabilizing force to ensure I got the support I need while doing this drill. So use a box or some type of a platform to keep you high up on this bar so that you can start at the completion point of your pull-ups. All right, so those are two sensational drills, one to help you with your kipping mechanics, the other to help with your windmill or butterfly pull-up mechanics. Hey, my name is Jason here at Silver City. Until next time, be great.